guys, welcome to FLOC. And today, I'm reviewing this beautiful 2016 Nissan GTR. Before we get into that, guys, just wanna shout out to my 20 subscribers. I finally reached 2,000 views on my video. So I just wanna thank you guys for the appreciation and the comments, and let's get into this. So this 2016 Nissan GTR you see beside me is a beautiful car. It separates itself from the rest of the GTRs out there, strictly based on this wrap right here. This chrome metallic red wrap, I don't really know the exact color, but this wrap is beautiful. The Nissan GTR is that car we all remember from when we were young. You remember playing Need for Speed? Underground, that is. When you got that skyline and you brought your memory card over to your friend's house, you knew it was gonna whip some ass. So that's what this GTR reminds me of. So it's an honor. And I'm really appreciative that I get to drive this vehicle today. So let's get into the wheel. Now this Nissan GTR has these nice 20 inch wheels on, wrapped with these Michelin Super Sport tires. These are 285s in the back, and I'm not sure at the front. Let me go check that out real quick. And on the front, those are 255s. So you have these big beefy wheels to help with that handling and driving ability. You also have this nice ceramic brake, which is gold or bronze. I'm not sure the particular color, but these are beautiful brake calipers. And these are six piston Brembos for excellent stopping power because you need stopping power when you're driving a beast around. Now, one of my favorite things when it comes to the GTR is the exhaust note. Everybody on the road, when you're into cars, you know the sound of a GTR because of this exhaust right here. Look at this. I could put my whole fist in there. I know this isn't the actual exhaust. The exhaust is right here. But Nissan GTRs have that distinct sound that Nissan creates, and I love this car, especially because of that exhaust note. Now under the hood, you have this 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo pushing out 567 horsepower and 464 pound feet of torque. That gets the car going from zero to 60 in about 2.9 to 2.8 seconds. Now, one thing that's great about the GTR is that you get all that performance for less money than a Lamborghini or Ferrari. This car can compete straight out the dealership with all of those cars. One last thing before I close this hood. I want to give a shout out to my man Tetsushi Matsumoto for building this engine. He's a brilliant man and I just want to give my appreciation to him before I close this hood. Now when you step inside this Nissan GTR, you are greeted by this beautiful ebony and ivory interior. That's not the specific name for it guys. The name is called Pearl White. Everything in this car feels substantial and the interior is starting to finally reflect the price range. So when you sit in these seats, they are very comfortable. And when you put your hands out in front of you, you are gripping a nice perforated leather steering wheel that is also contrasted. You have these stationary paddle shifters that are always there. So when you're taking down that track, your hands can always reach those paddles in order to get optimal shift points. And you could also do that on the street. I'm not advising it, guys, but you could do what you want to do with your vehicle. Now, when you get into the center stack, guys, the GTR is just not that technologically savvy. It's really basic and it, that's where it's lacking in terms of comparing a GTR to those supercars out there. But when you get down here, guys, you have your three R modes. These are the most important modes on the vehicle and they change the entire dynamic. Now, when you first start your vehicle, your car is in normal mode. Normal mode is geared towards daily driving. Everything is comfortable in terms of the suspension, transmission, and traction. Now, when you flick all of these switches down, your car is in special mode. Special mode is geared towards more long distance driving and it is also used to be driven on wet surfaces and slightly dangerous driving conditions in terms of weather. Now R mode is when the car totally wakes up. R mode is for maximum performance. Your transmission shifts, your suspension and traction are geared towards more aggressive driving. And that's the mode you wanna be in when somebody pulls up to you at a red light or on a highway because you'll see them in your rear view mirror. All right, guys, I'm about to go on my first drive in the Nissan GTR just to experience it. I'm not going to be going doing no turns or corners or anything. It's just a straight drive. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it from there. So let's start this. I need the last one. Putting the car in R mode, guys. I got to get the full experience from the beginning. Oh, sh oh, sh damn, I didn't even put it in drive. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So first, it, first thoughts, I'm just driving the car. It feels like a machine right away. It does not feel like an average vehicle on the road. All right, guys, we got a straight here. I'm gonna put some gas to it. How do you even do anything at that point? I'm too scared, man. Damn. Driving this every day, son? I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. I would never go to speed limit driving this. Never. It makes you want to speed. It just makes you want to speed. And it's crazy. You don't have to push that much gas into it. And you're already violating. And everybody looks at you in this shit. Every time somebody walks past. Now, guys, unfortunately, the audio stopped recording at this point. I do not know why. But let me just give you guys my thoughts of how it felt driving this GTR. The GTR is a machine, like I said earlier. The shifts are immediate. The steering is tight. The handling is tight. Overall, on the road, it feels like you're driving a toy car out there. The car is so fast. You could just feel it pushing you in the back of your seat with that torque. Although I didn't give the car the full beans, the full enchilada, I gave it a little bit of gas and I just, it was the fastest car I've ever driven in my life. And I haven't driven that many cars, guys, so that doesn't say much. But guys, I'm telling you, the overall experience of driving a GTR is an amazing one. And I envy every GTR owner on the road. It's different when you just see a GTR, you watch the videos, you don't really get the full experience from that. But being behind the wheel of one, it's just a whole different feeling. It's exhilarating because the car is just so damn fast. And I just want to give a shout out to the owner again for letting me drive this car. I really appreciate it. But before I close out in this little spoken version, I closed out out there when I was out there on this glorious day. Just watch this, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching this video again. All right, guys, I just drove the GTR. I didn't do that much talking because the experience was so visceral. Now, I just want to close this video out by telling you guys thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. FLOC, we out of here.